Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. The power that Kakarot had obtained in that short period of time had been incredible, and when combined with the Kaioken, his power had skyrocketed in an incredible way. So much was his power on this occasion that he was even able to attract the attention of Beerus, the god of destruction of the entire Universe 7. What's all this fuss? Whis, but who is he? Oh, Mr. Beerus, I ask you an apology, and answering your other question, he's a Saiyan, and his name is Kakarot, knowing that you constantly get bored, decided to train him. <laughs> so train him? Do you think this simple mortal's capable of doing something to me? Mr. Beerus, don't underestimate him, because he can end up in terrible conditions his power is. Whis was not able to finish his sentence because at that precise moment, Beerus had thrown himself against Kakarot who, when observing him in front of him, by intuition was able to cover himself with an incredible blow, but the power was so much that he would even send him flying to a few mountains destroying them completely. <laughs> is that really all the power of that saying? I didn't even use 45% of all my power and apparently he was defeated. At that moment that Beerus was about to retire, a great rumble would be felt from that crater where Kakarot had been sent to fly. At that moment, Kakarot of a great speed would begin to exchange blows with Beerus, who would be a little surprised to realize how that Saiyan was able to keep up with him. Beerus, at that moment, would be hit by a great blow, which would make him fall sharply to the planet. The fact that you're on this planet gives me to understand that you're the powerful Beerus. That being that Whis talked to me so much, but I don't care if you're a god, I won't let you humble me like that. Beerus would recover from the blow and come out of that crater very confident. The blow you gave me was powerful, but it wasn't powerful enough to make me bleed. You still need a lot more power. Beerus, at that moment of finishing his sentence, was able to give him a big blow to the stomach, which Kakarot would spit out large amounts of blood due to all the damage he had caused. Kakarot, despite being used, the Hyper Kaioken would feel overshadowed by Beerus. <laughs> Apparently, I'll have to use all my power, the power with which I wanted to perfect her to be Whis. Were you underestimating me? If you have more power, it'd be better to release it right now. Otherwise, I'll end your pathetic life. Instantly, from a great light, you could feel an incredible heat as well as a great pressure all over the planet of Beerus. What is Kakarot doing? But he must intervene because otherwise the universe would be affected. Whis, with his great power, he would use a magnetic field on the entire planet of Beerus with which he was able to protect the entire Universe 7, while Kakarot would appear with a totally distant appearance since this time all his hair was a black color, while his eyes were an imposing silver color. What is that? I feel as if the pressure to a higher being crushed me, but this must not be happening. This damn guy is a simple Saiyan. Beerus, at that moment of attacking him, he would be received by the strongest blow he had ever received, feeling like his life was completely taken away. <sighs> Dermy, damn! Where the hell did you get so much power from? Kakarot, without any expression, would begin to approach Beerus, which at that moment he would release all his power. That's right, the power of Super Beerus. That's right, Beerus was releasing 100% of all his power, something he had never done because being considered a prodigy, I never needed to use all his ability, and he had been able to fight against the 11 gods at once, being able to win the victory. But against Kakarot, it was totally different, since the powers despised not feeling it, did not allow him to move freely. I admit you're very powerful, but I did not think that Wiss trained you in an excellent way, but I doubt you'll be able to cope with 100% of all my power. Beerus' power had been insane, as the barrier that even Whis had placed was starting to crack. This is amazing! I do not think that the power of Mr. Beerus is capable of reaching this limit. However, Whis would instantly remember the words that his father Daishank and Sama had said back to him. My son, you as the prodigal angel will be the guardian and teacher of Beerus, the god of the Universe 7. 
Father, I'll do whatever you ask. But in the short time I've spent with Mr. Beerus, he doesn't do anything for training. He just sleeps. I know the descent of Beerus, and I know that he's a very powerful being. So we must have the best guardian and the best teacher, so that he knows how to distinguish between good and evil. Because if he's guided by the path of evil, it'll be a sea of blood. So that's why my father asked me to be the guardian of Lord Beerus. I've never seen him use 100% of all his power. Even against all the gods, I only use 52%. Apparently, Kakarot's power is incredible. At that moment of a great explosion all over the place of purple energy, one could observe Beerus, which apparently had not changed so much, but moved at an incredible speed towards Kakarot, which despite the incredible speed of Beerus, was able to dodge his blow, which would annoy Beerus much more. But the instant Kakarot attacked him, Beerus was still able to dodge each of his blows. Flickering divine light! A big light would leave Kakarot without vision, which Beerus would take advantage of to connect several blows to him. But to his surprise, Kakarot had been able to dodge each one of them, and would connect the first blow on Beerus having no result. Doesn't matter that you leave me without vision, that won't do you any good. Since the Ultra Instinct is the state of one's body, I don't need the sight. Whis would be very surprised to realize how Kakarot had been able to access the Ultra Instinct without his help. But Beerus, without holding back in the slightest, would begin to attack Kakarot, which with the passage of the battle his power was wearing out, of which both deities would notice. Your incredible power is starting to leave you. Apparently you still haven't mastered it in its entirety of the Ultra Instinct, but I must give you credit, since no god's been able to activate it to that level you possess it. Kakarot at the moment would be knocked down with a great blow to the ground, with which Beerus had been able to inject some destructive energy into Kakarot's inner base, which accelerated the duration of the Ultra Instinct. Damn, for God of Destruction you're very smart, but I'm not going to give up so easily. Kakarot would begin to channel the maximum power throughout his body, with which he was becoming a Saiyan Bomb. However, the only one who would realize all this would be Whis, since for Beerus, he was only raising all his remaining power. At that precise moment, Kakarot, as if were a flash, was even able to disappear from reality itself, appearing behind Beerus, which would instantly hold him tightly. Beerus, realizing Kakarot's intention, would use all his power to break free from that furative grip. Ha ha ha! Too late, Beerus! We won't die, but I'll show you that even though I'm immortal, you don't have the right to treat me like I'm trash. Big explosion would be observed all over the planet of Beerus, which in an instant, he was feeling as his whole body was torn. That's right, the incredible power of Kakarot had been able to leave Beerus on the verge of death, because instantly Kakarot would fall to the ground very badly injured and on the verge of death, while Beerus had wounds all over his body where large amounts of blood came out of his mouth. Saiyan, you're a genius. I must recognize you as the most powerful being that I, the super god Beerus, have faced. You have all my respect. Beerus would likewise be knocked out of combat, and at the moment, Whis would approach both, restoring all his wounds and recovering all his power. However, from the shadows, an opposing warrior was watching everything that had happened. So, after millions of years, that damn Saiyan race still exists. I cannot allow to be born against a Saiyan like Yamoshi bastard was. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of the All, Daishenken was together with his king, but instantly a bloody sensation would be felt all over the place, to which even the guardians of Xenosama would become alert. Who are you? How is it possible that you emanate all this negativity? <laughs> Don't you remember me, priest? I was who the first commander of the underworld troops, and known for his first fallen angel. This is impossible, but if you're Bayakuya, my firstborn, the most destructive angel who has ever succeeded, but your heart was corrupted by the desire for absolute evil, I'm here to inform you that I've returned. So you better prepare an entire army, since I'm not planning to leave anything of the divine realm alive. Bayakuya, even though you're considered a prodigy, you are not able to face me. I'm much more powerful than you. We need to check that, father. All the murderous essence would disappear from the place, but Daishenka was very worried, giving notice to all the gods and angels of the incredible problem that was approaching all the 12 universes. Gods and angels, in case you meet Bayakuya, inform everyone else. 
because in a one-on-one -on -one battle you have no chance. Bayakuya is your older brother, the most powerful angel, and even above the power of... Returning to the planet of Beerus, Kakarot would wake up with a severe headache. Ah, my head hurts a lot. What happened? How long have I been unconscious? Kakarot would change his expression to a much more serious one, realizing how the deities of Universe 7 were very serious and thoughtful. Has something bad happened? Kakarot's apparently a very powerful being has returned after so many millions of years, and he has returned in order to destroy every divine being. You're wrong, Wiss. I've returned to destroy everything created by the divine world. The incredible planet of Beerus began to be destroyed while both deities went into an incredible panic not even able to breathe due to the incredible pressure. However, from Kakarot's body, a very strange energy began to emanate from it, which did not allow a star-level Saiyan to kneel before Bayakuya. That's why Kakarot was the last descendant of the powerful Yamoshi, which had even been able to make all the gods tremble together. Due to the bestial and overwhelming power he possessed, Bayakuya, upon realizing, as the power of that Saiyan began to grow in an incredible way and would recognize part of the power of Yamoshi, would quickly approach to stop the rise of Kakarot's power. However, the incredible power of Beerus would be put in front of Kakarot and likewise Whis. The power of Kakarot releases right now is even comparable to the A-level priest rank, and if you came to get rid of Kakarot first, it must be for something very important. Don't meddle in my affairs, demon of darkness. At the first moment, a large, dark-colored being would begin to fight with both deities, which were not able to move freely due to the pressure of Bayakuya. But at the moment, to approach Kakarot, a blow from a power from another world would send him flying to a planet, which even the planet would explode upon simple contact. Ah, so this is the power of the Super Saiyan Primal. What a power for more amazing. I swear I'll honor your power and offspring, Yamoshi. Kakarot would begin to accumulate all his power, as far as his body could resist, because the power of the Saiyan Primal seemed to have no Kaimite at all, while several roars would shake all the 12 universes. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Oh,